Last year, a popular local ski resort struggled to operate due to staffing shortages. Now, resort officials say they've worked to make sure that doesn't happen again. 28-22, Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas has more from Jack Frost Big Boulder Resort. The crunching of snow. A sound that's music to the ears of skiers and snowboarders. Here at Jack Frost Ski Resort. Officials are gearing up for opening day Friday. General Manager Trent Poole tells Eyewitness News the snowmaking process has been smooth despite recent mild weather. We have some temperatures in the forecast, some lower ones um, in the coming week. So we're going to blow a little bit more snow this week and make sure that the opening is um, nice and we have plenty of trails to offer for everybody. Last season, Jack Frost and Big Boulder struggled with staffing shortages, leading to longer lines and season long tubing closures. Poole says this time around, they're fully staffed after bumping their minimum wage to $20 an hour. You know, we wanted to commit to our guests, and, and the first way to do that was we need to reinvest in our employees. So we focused our employees that work hard each and every day. This season marks Jack Frost's 50th anniversary and Big Boulder's 75th. Huge milestones they're celebrating with new upgrades. To help improve its operations, Jack Frost and Big Boulder got five brand new ski lifts. The proceeds from the old ones being donated to local first responders. Lake Harmony Fire and Rescue and Lake Harmony Rescue Squad and Albrightsville, all of those folks give back to us each and every day. So we thought, take this opportunity to give back to them. In Carbon County, Sydney Costas, 2822 Eyewitness News. You can find more information on the ski resort's opening day on our website, pahomepage.com.